So here's the first activation of Cosmo when he first starts up. So if the cube is too close, it's hard to see, it says. He'll tell you when he's ready to proceed. So there's goals that you have to do each day and it teaches Cosmo more tricks and stuff. So here I have three for today starting out. Uh, so there's a, first one is a, teach him your name. And here's a Cosmo app. Cosmo apps are games and activities you can play with Cosmo. So you continue. Cosmo was spending time exploring the world, so I guess he's going to race around here, maybe. So here he's learning my face and my name, and he's saying fish, which is my name, I, I use as, to log into uh, Cosmo. So we'll stop there. So you do through some of these uh, games and stuff, uh, he get his AI gets better and better and I guess he moves these little blocks around you interact with these blocks so I think I'm gonna charge him right now and, and for another couple minutes there's like seven minutes So he has to learn the other blocks. So I'll stop it here. So 
So here we start out, we launch the Cosmo app. After you've connected your settings to the Cosmo, it, you launch the app, it'll come up with a little bit of music. Basically the Cosmo uses your iPad or iPhone and then these three cubes to interact with itself and kind of communicate and create this kind of artificial AI intelligence. So we'll say connect. And I've been using the Cosmo now for um, a couple weeks. And uh, when, the, when it lights up green like this, it says that it, it basically knows that the cubes are there and will use them. But blue means it's aware of them, but green, a solid green means it's actually gonna use it. Um, the, the game here or the interaction with Cosmo is this puzzles here that you do every day. Um, the top one here are a series of things that it can do. Um, let's build a um, pyramid. Let's give it three sparks. Oh, I guess it won't let me uh, do that today. Three cubes are required. So it found one cube. So it's still discovering the cube. So let's go back. Let's just try something simple like uh, um, work out with a cube. Move this closer so it can actually see it. Maybe, maybe that'll help. So it recognizes that green cube, and now picks it up. And now it's gonna work out with it. Pretend that it's lifting it as a heavy weight, which is kind of funny. So it did it, and that was kind of cool. And that's, you use, you use these little spark points that you earn through, while practicing with the Cosmo to get it to do these little tricks. So it's uh, still trying to find the cubes here, and it should basically go back. Now let's have it um, try to build a pyramid and uh, oh, okay it doesn't want to do that right now so let's not do that it wants to play a game so one thing that's really nice is you you have these games that you can play with it also um, I like the Explorer mode let's see if it goes in let's see if it starts up here there we go and so now I'm gonna go into Explorer mode And you can move its head up and down. You can um, make it go backwards. You can make it go forwards really fast. Um, you can, you, you basically twist this to get it to twist in, in place, left or right. And I'm going to have him lift a cube. So he sees that green one. He knows the blue one is there, but he sees the green one. And so he's going to lift it up. And then I can have him go backwards. I can have him spin. So I spin them around.
Have them go forward. I'm going the other way. Um, I can have him stack a cube. So he sees that other green one. He knows the blue one is there, but he sees the green one. So he's going to stack the cube. Let me get this in there so you can see it. And there he did it. So, and there's other little features. You, you, can, you can move his uh, arm up and down wherever you want. You want to move his face up and down. Um, there's a night mode, which I don't ever use. Um, they can go backwards. Go forwards. You can even push the stack a little bit if you want. They can go backwards. And so there's all sorts of stuff you can do. It's, it's, it's a neat little feature. So we're going to quit that activity. Move this back down. And now we're going to put him to sleep. Okay, and when we're done with them. And that's about it. Um, there are some other little games you can play and they're constantly adding more features to it. Uh, when you update uh, the app on your iPhone or iPad, you'll get some new features. Um, all in all, it's a neat little toy. Um, very sophisticated for what it does. Um, there is an API or an APK where you can actually program the, the Cosmo to go forward, left, right, all these, which I'm gonna do via the Arduino. That's gonna be my next uh, project with this, but I wanted to kind of show you what it can do and uh, its overall AI ability. So we launched the Mebo software and it comes up with this little menu. We select drive and it comes up with the actual video of the Mebo robot. Um, it has a live video. You can take a picture, you can take a movie, you can record your own sound and play it back. Uh, you can play pre-canned sounds. Um, and then you can also record within the room. And if I have this on, we get a little bit of an echo. So I'm gonna turn that off. Um, in addition to these features, you can open and close the claw by sliding that, you have a wrist that you can turn, and then you can, if you tap the little buttons around the major uh, joystick here in the center, you can do it in small movements. Um, the arm can go up, the arm can go down, up a little bit, down a little bit. Over here we have drive, which is uh, forward. We can go backwards. And then we can also spin in place. But let's come down the hallway. If we slide the joystick a little bit, it moves slowly. You move the joystick more, it takes off. And I'm a little bit not centered here. Now there is a box over here that I want to get. So let's bring the wrist up, let's bring the arm down. Oops, move it off. It is a little touchy. Bring the arm down. Bring the wrist down.
bring the arm down, close the claw, raise the arm up, pivot the wrist, bring the wrist up and down, then let's Bring the box over here to this brown area. Bring the wrist up. Bring the arm down. Open the claw. Raise the wrist up and the arm up. And that's it. Um, we also have a Wi-Fi indicator here of strength and a battery life. Um, these are saved pictures or videos from here and then this takes you back to the uh, home screen. So that's pretty much uh, all the little features it can do. Um, the range is as far as your Wi-Fi is. So if you have Wi-Fi throughout your house, you should be able to use this and see what you're doing and record stuff and play stuff um, anywhere your Wi-Fi is.